Are you considering a move to the Portland area but want to see if one of the surrounding suburbs might be a good fit for you? Well, in this video, we'll be comparing Portland with one of the absolute nicest suburbs in the entire area. These two places are located within close proximity to each other but offer very different lifestyles. Want to learn about which one might be a better fit for you? Let's go! Lake Oswego is a city of about 40,000 people and it's located approximately 15 to 20 minutes south of downtown Portland. It is known to have some of the nicest homes in the Portland metro area, some of the best schools in the entire county, if not the entire Portland metro area, with an A plus rating on niche.com. There's a huge private lake available to residents only, an impeccable downtown area, numerous local businesses to shop in, and every every grocery store you could ever need, as well as amazing farmers markets. Portland, with a population of about 660,000, has some pretty good schools with a B plus on niche.com, but it's hard to compete with what Lake Oswego has to offer. But Portland has a world-renowned food scene, coffee scene, beer scene, great nightlife, and also has all of the shopping options that I mentioned Lake Oswego has, as well as some of the most epic farmers markets. Compared to Lake Oswego, downtown Portland certainly leaves a lot to be desired and even a lot to grimace at. But there are many very nice neighborhoods throughout Portland and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later in the video. And so before we move on to talking about the median home price and some other stats about each neighborhood, know that if you are thinking of making a move up here to the Portland area or Lake Oswego or anywhere in between, my team would absolutely welcome a call, text, or email from yeah, because we know how overwhelming it can be to make a big move and honestly we're helping people all the time with making that transition up here to Portland and ultimately getting into their dream homes. So if that sounds like you, don't be shy. Just reach out. You can find all of our contact information right down below this video in the description or in the comments. We look forward to hearing from you. Now there is a very dramatic difference between the median home price in Portland and Lake Oswego. The median sales price of a home in Lake Oswego is $1.1 million, and in Portland, the median home price is $520,000. Don't be discouraged if you have your eyes on Lake Oswego and you are in a lower price range. Many nice condos are available in the Lake Oswego area between the $200,000 and $500,000 mark. Detached single-family homes in Lake Oswego start right around that $500,000 mark and can go all the way up to the mid seven and figures if you want one of those super nice lakeside properties. In Portland, you can find condos of all price ranges and single family homes for sale start right around the 300 mark. On the higher end, there are also many types of luxury neighborhoods spread out throughout the Portland city limits, some of which are comparable to Lake Oswego in quality, such as the Forest Park neighborhood, Southwest Hills, Alameda, and Laurelhurst, to name a few. Homes in these areas come commonly sell for well over 1 million. So if you want to live in luxury, there are options in both Portland and Lake Oswego. Also in Portland, you will find much more classic architecture with the median age of Portland homes being built in 1964. Whereas in Lake Oswego, you will find much newer homes with the median year being built in 1981. In Portland, the homeowner to renter ratio is split right down the middle, right around 50%, but in Lake Oswego, you're going to see many more residents owning their own homes closer to the 70% mark. All right, that's enough about the houses. What's it really like to live in these two cities? Portland is a city made up of neighborhoods that are spread out all over the city, and each neighborhood feels like a small community. Lake Oswego, on the other hand, is a big community. You'll see people gearing up for the big game at the high school, or see people driving around with bumpers stickers that say I love LO, that means Lake Oswego. One thing you should know about the downtown Lake Oswego area is it is one of the nicest downtown areas I have ever seen. There are so many different food options over there, including one of my favorite sushi spots, which is bamboo sushi. There's a salt and straw ice cream, tons of great food options, and it's right across from the lake. It just doesn't get any better than that. Lake Oswego median age is 45, whereas Portland is 
37. So you can expect a bit more nightlife, concert venues, museums, brunch spots, and just more fun options throughout the city day and night. Obviously the two places are very close, so you can live in one and have the best of both worlds potentially. But let's talk about the scenery. One big difference between the two cities is the scenery. Portland is surrounded by beautiful forests, trees throughout the city, rivers and mountains off in the distance, with plenty of outdoor hiking activities, biking, and skiing within close proximity. Come to think of it, Lake Oswego I guess has all that stuff too. But in Portland there are over 200 parks, big and small. Some of the bigger ones include Forest Park, Mount Tabor Park, and Laurelhurst Park, and many others so there's lots of reasons to go get outside in Portland. There's no lakes in Portland though so by contrast Lake Oswego has some pretty stunning lake views. There's beautiful upscale homes everywhere you look and so there's definitely a more tranquil suburban style feel when you get to Lake Oswego as well as a tighter knit community like I mentioned before. Remember if you want to have access to Oswego Lake you need to either live directly on the lake or live in a home with an address that has an easement for the lake. Quick real estate lesson, an easement is basically deeded access to a place that's not technically within your property lines. So there's designated spots along the lake that are easements for certain people within that area. Lake Oswego also has a series of really great parks, including Foothills Park, where they do concerts in the summertime. There's walking trails all the way around Oswego Lake. There's George Rogers Park, and I'm just gonna stop talking for a second so you can appreciate this one. And even a big portion of Tryon Creek nature area is in Lake Oswego. So that area has so many nice trails to hike through and you can do some running. There's even horseback trails. Another big difference between the two is the homeless population. Portland has one of the worst homeless problems in the whole country. There's approximately five homeless people per 1,000 residents. There's many neighborhoods all over Portland where the issue isn't very apparent, but it's definitely something that you'll notice if you live in Portland. It's much worse on busy streets, close to freeways, closer to the city center, on the inner parts of southeast, or in the downtown Portland area. In Lake Oswego, the homeless population is much less of a problem. I've never actually even seen any homeless people in Lake Oswego. In Portland, there are over 5,000 homeless people at any given time, and I couldn't even find that data showing how many homeless people existed in Lake Oswego, so that should tell you something about that. Moving on on to the different types of businesses that you can expect in each city. Both Portland and Lake Oswego have a lot of great options. To just put things into perspective here, Lake Oswego has right around 2,200 local businesses within the city limits. So there's no shortage of great dining options, cafes, shopping. However, Portland has over 2,500 coffee shops alone. Obviously, Portland is a much bigger city in terms of population to a Lake Oswego, but the options available to you within Portland are unparalleled compared to Lake Oswego. But maybe quantity doesn't matter as much to you, and as long as there are good quality options, you'll be happy. In that case, either Portland or Lake Oswego could be a good fit. If you live in Lake Oswego, you can always venture into Portland to enjoy a beer with one of your buddies at one of the 70 local breweries, go to one of the many great museums in the city, or even catch your favorite band playing in town, and then return treat to the quietness and peaceful, tranquil Lake Oswego. Or just live in Portland if that's your speed. If you still need to do some more research and you aren't quite ready to reach out to us yet, it could be worth it to check out this video here where I talk about another great suburb in the Portland metro area. Thanks for watching.